Ace down first, Gainer again, and well, believe it or not, I'm not doing a craft room tour today. I'll do another one in about five weeks' time because Mr. Boyce has fetched up half my kitchen today, and it's just amazing. He was going to do the top half today and the bottom half tomorrow, but he just said we're going to have to live without the kitchen for a while anyway because our new kitchen's coming on the 3rd of August. Um, but the granite work, it, the, the quartz tops aren't coming until a week or two after. So it's going to be about middle of August and then I'm going to do another craft room tour. But I'm also going to do a kitchen tour as well because everyone wants to know what my kitchen is, my new kitchen is going to be like. So I had a little order today from Stampin' Up and I'm also doing the walkthrough for the, um, the Sound of Summer. Uh, mini album and I mean mini album it's six and a half by eight and a half I think or eight and a quarter six and a half by eight and a quarter but uh, I just didn't film any of it I just had so much fun making it so I think when you film something I get under pressure and then my head goes totally blank and I can't think what to put in it because I'm thinking oh my god I'm filming I've got to keep talking the whole time um, but let's show you my little order I know I wasn't going to have the DSP, but I changed my mind. I wanted to see what it looked like because it was doomy heading. I actually did want the plaid one. So I thought well, I had a few others while I was there. And they're not too bad in person, actually, to tell you the truth. So these are the, you know, me and ribbons. Oh, my gosh. I bet you can still, you can see a little bit of it now. Well, that's some of the kitchen that's fetched up. And all, the, all my ribbons go from one end, virtually all the way up to the other end. And they're in the top drawer, in the cutlery trays, and all side by side. There's loads of them, and I've just bought more. You know me and ribbon. I love a bit of ribbon. And yet, I never used to buy any, ever. Never. When I first started, I never put uh, ribbon on. Oh my goodness, look at this. How cute is that? And let me get my book. Because I've got to be showing you. Oh, and oh, are you allowed to see inside this yet? <laughs> I don't think you are, are you? No. August to December, so I'll have to look at it here. Oh, I'm a killjoy, aren't I? Is it that one? Yeah, it is. Wonders of the season. Uh, ribbon combo. And you've got shaded spruce, which is one inch. So that's one inch thick. And then you've got the gold. It's one spool. It has combo pack for double the options. One spool ribbon, one spool cord. That one is one inch. Ah, and the gold is one sixteenth of an inch, so it's very thin. That's how thin it is. So it's half of one eighth of an inch, so it's one sixteenth. Nice though, I bet they look lovely together. Um, and then I had the Wonders of the Season and Tis the Season DSP. I didn't bother with the memories and more or the cards and envelopes, but they're that, the two beautiful ribbons. Oh my goodness, and you know what the snowflake suite? With, it wouldn't let you order it at all because this wasn't ready, but it's now here. Look at that for an embossing folder. It's not a dynamic one, it's not 3D, it's just it reminds me of the Darcy one I was sent a long time ago. Do you remember the Darcy one? Oh my goodness. Without going through all my embossing folders right now, um, I've just wanted it. I love anything with snowflakes. So yes, I was after this. And yes, it's come. And it's called Winter Snow. Let's grab it. No, we can't do that yet. Wait there. Yes, we can. Oh, I've had to put a new thingy under my desk and now I'm knocking my knees. Oh, that was my flipping knee again. Thank you, knee. Uh, so it's called Winter Snow. And that's my gorgeous new embossing bowl there. So we can go in the bin. Uh, right, let's show you the... This is the... And I tell you, it cracked me up. In the book, it says the colours that go with this are uh, basic black, gold foil, red foil, whisper white. On the back, all it says is basic black, whisper white. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I know. So I've kept the packet because it was it's speciality paper. So they always put a, a, a wacky piece of cardboard in there. So these are good for making little albums and stuff. So let's show you. I've got one one white and one the other. So this is the gold foil. Quite nice. And it's a... Uh, Oh, mother, how many days until Christmas? We must wait a whole month, mother. 20, 20 days more, 10 days more, and only five days more. How slow, it's like a, something from a Christmas carol. It's Santa Claus, took them away. It's literally a story. And then this is on the back. Uh, the North Pole Chronicle. So it's in foreign most of it. Yeah, in fact, all of it is. And when I saw it in the pocket, it was, like I said, it didn't impress me at all. But I thought, give it a go, Gainey, you can't get... You've got to have it up close and personal. And then you've got, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, breaking news, bells spread Christmas cheer. The North Pole, the, I'm not reading it all out, but you've got a letter to Santa, breaks all time record this year dear mrs claus um and it just repeats six uh so that's that one and then this is the other side and then the night before christmas is the poems there the trip to the big city a success just like news clippings a visit to santa claus land By Georgine Faulkner. I don't know who she is. By Peppy Peppermint. Uh. So that's that side. And that's the reverse. And then you've got the gold foil, which has got like salt, salt donuts, handmade ornaments, Santa's hot chocolate, um, holiday fruitcake. Obviously, some then in different languages. Mrs. Claus cheese fondue and then petite gato au chocolat Poland oh, I don't know I can't read foreign languages but and then you've got this on the other side again whoa 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 why is that with that one that's that one and then it's there again that same one on the back of the red is now what the hell is going on here right I'm, I'm confused a bit now right that's that is the reverse of that one that one is the reverse of that one which is exactly the same as the reverse of that one and then this one oh so you've got two lots you've got four lots of that you've got it on the other side as well which is a bit of a cheat and then you've got this one wish you a merry christmas breaking news spread the joy blah and then this is on the reverse of that one and then you've got this one. Oh, Mr. Boyce, you're a star. Okay. You've got it again, look, see? Santa's up chocolate. Mrs. Cleet Cho, it's, it's just moved around. Ah, oh, that's cheating. But I do like the red, it's nice. I like the sleigh there. So, that. Oh, no, that's, oh my goodness. That is the reverse of that one and that which we've seen again is the reverse of that one and that one which is probably the same oh yes it's the same one with it's the gold one and that's the reverse of this one which is the same but in gold oh my goodness so we've got that repeated in black and white as well and that one's repeated throughout That one's repeated as well. The 
there it is again. I'm confused with this one. So this one we got in gold and in red. So nothing different. So you're not getting any more, uh, any more or less designs. Goodness, I think that's the only one that's a bit different. Well, I'm confused.com. So that doesn't take a lot, does it? <laughs> but there we go. 14 quid for repeated paper. I buy it so you don't have to. <laughs> I'm a nut job, aren't I? Now, so that's that one, which uh, now I'm not overly impressed. It looks lovely, but I don't want the repeated same pattern. And then the, this is the the other one that goes with that is the Caesar. Wonders of the Caesar and tis the Caesar on the same page, page 31. So when you get your catalogs, have a look. And you get eight. Oh, no, you don't. You get it. Oh my, yeah, you do. You get, you get eight designs, so that's on the back, and then it repeats itself four times. I quite like that. I'm not fussed on the. You know, now I'm going to put it down how I fancy it. So I prefer that one. I prefer that one. I prefer that one. I prefer that one. I like that one. I prefer that one. That's okay, ish. Uh, I'm not for. I'm not sure about that one. I like the bells, even though I didn't buy the bell set. That one. That one. That one. And then it just so repeats again. Then it's so. You got these all again four times. So let's do that slowly now. So. That is on the reverse. I love a bit of plaid, but I think that's nice and cheerful. You've got a pattern. Oh, look at me holding out your way. Sorry. Gina's getting carried away all that way. I chose that way. You've got the ferns then, and it looks like a, can you see it? Tiniest little dotted pattern. Then you've got the bells and like a checkered pattern. You've got the ivy. And the berries, oh that little pattern, I'm not sure about that now, I quite like both of those. Then you got the trees, oh you've got a little pattern, see it? Right, well, this is cute, I like the candy canes, not fussed on that side, but that's cute as well. I like their plaid as well though with that, oh, I like that, that looks to me like little postage stamps. But uh, I like both sides on that. That's cute. I like both sides on that as well, I must admit. Um, this is like, it's like a sprig with berries at the bottom. And it's just repeated in four. And then you've got like a wrapping paper design, I'd call that. Then you've got the mistletoe and the candy canes. I like both of those. And this is just a squiggly pattern. I suppose you could use this when it when it's not Christmas and this because it's just stars. So let's find the non-Christmassy ones now. So you could use that all year round and that. Maybe not so much that one. That you could use all year round. That you could use all year round that way. Uh, that you could use all year round. I suppose you could with that. Definitely can with that. Can with that as well. You definitely can with that. And I suppose you could with that. It looks like a feather. It can either be a feather or a sprig, but you could definitely use it on that side. That one again, is that just that little pattern repeated? And that one you could use all year round. I think there's only this one you couldn't so much use all year round. But uh, I like that. I, I definitely wanted the plaid. I love plaid. I was supposed to have got it for my half price item, but for some reason it wouldn't let me order it at that, at that time, as it says. So this is the plaid one. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I love black and white plaid as, as well. So 
I've gone and turned everything around. So you've got you've got four of everything. So that is my favourite, and that's the reverse of it, which I absolutely love. So, but I will be using that side. So I'll keep that. So this is the reverse of this, and I prefer that side. So I'll keep that. Oh yeah, I'm doing it again. I've got to watch where my camera is. Um, I'm getting used to the new position on my desk. So I like, that's the reserve. I like both, but I prefer that side. So now I'm a bit torn between these two because I like both sides. So I'll keep that way and I'll keep one that way. I like this. I also like this. So I'll keep them either way. I'm loving the yellow. But I also love the blue. Reminds me of pajamas, Christmas pajamas. It does make you think so. Check your pajamas. I like both of those. Um, I like both of those. I like this. I love this actually. And I love the other side as well. Love it. Love the grey. I'll, it's okay that is but I'll be keeping mine on the grey side I think because I won't be using it for the brown I love the grey and then you've got this one bit dark for me but I like that side so I'll be keeping that side and then you've got this which is the reverse of this I quite like both of those and then this absolutely gorgeous is the reverse of that Look how bright and cheerful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. But I like both sides, look. That's the reverse. Love that. So that's the third plaid one. Which I planned on getting anyway. My embossing folder. What else was there? One, two, three, four. Oh, there's only those five things. So that was my little order that came today. You can see a little bit of my sneaky peeky uh, kitchen, in, which is now in my bedroom. Which is now in my craft room, should I say? My bedroom's next door. I have to crawl out of bed and come straight in the craft room and check my emails and everything before I go down the stairs. So that is one, two, three, four, five. There's the five items I received today from Stampin' Up. Love it. So I'm going to crack on now and we're going to do the walkthrough to the album I made. I absolutely adore this album. Let me just pop them down there. So I'll show you the papers and what I've got left and what how much I used. So this is a packet of you know the A4 papers I got and I showed you? With They've got all the ephemera on one side and the die cut pieces um, like this and like this. Well, I, I, I bought three packets of the A4 size and sat one night whilst in chat and fussy cut every single piece out. And if it got a straight line, I cut it with the... And if not, I got the circles out and I cut all the words out and I cut all the creatures out. I sat and cut everything out one night. So, um, these are the pieces that I cut out with them, plus what I used in, in the album. But there's so many. There was like, was it 10 sheets or 8 sheets of 9? I can't remember. I'll have to count. But these are all, all the, everything that I cut out. So you can add a hole in there and add some ribbon, same with that one. These were on the reverse look, I love that one. And then you've got this, 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 and it's loads, put it that way, there was, like I say, nine, ten sheets, and like I say, I sat and fussy cut them all out, and if I didn't, I'd use a circle punch, and if I couldn't get a circle big enough, I hand cut it out, because at the time when this came, I my scanning cut was out of use because I didn't have anywhere to plug it in. And then you add loads of words, so you'll see them scattered throughout the album. So 
So to make the album, I got the 6x6 six six and I had two lots of the 12x12. 12 12. So because I only got one lot of the 6x6, six six, it literally gave you two sheets of everything. So I used one sheet of everything. Yes, two sheets of everything. And I used an A4 sheet, half a packet of the 6x6, six six, and I thought, right, I'm going to use one of the 12x12s. 12 but making this album, that's all I've got left out of the A4. There you go, that's all the bits that were cut out. So I still got two full ones, and I think there was only nine of these. Nine, sorry, not eight. Nine A4s, and there's two left. And that, 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 and these bits here. And I used all of the six by six, which was 12 pieces. And I used only two sheets from the 12 by 12, because I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine. I only must have only used one then. No, I did use two because I swapped one. So, oh, it must have been 12. 12 by 12 pieces then. So I've used three. Three sheets of eight, eight 12 by 12. There was nine of them. There's still two and a half left, say. So I've used six of them. And I've used... 12 of the 6 by 6 so and I've still got all this left and I've still got a full one of them and I've still got an A4 left as well and I've still got half a packet of um, the 6 by 6 and I only made a small album I also sent away for um, this gorgeous Hessian that the lovely scrap queen sold on a and which you've seen I think but this is that six is six and a half by eight and a quarter, I think. Oh no, six and a half by eight. There we go. Six and a half by eight. So it's only a small book. Let me pull it down. Let me turn those blinds because it's a bit bright in it. It's blinding actually. That is better. Oof. The voice spin up here. Oh, there we go. Right, that's better. Yay, I can see. <laughs> so this is that our sound of summer, and this was the part of the A fours. Oh no, that was a six by six. That is one whole sheet of a six by six because I, and I used one, two pieces of the eight by eight, which is a stripe from the graphic forty five. So yeah, this is. That is one a uh, six by six piece, and the same on the back. I used a six by six piece on the back of here as well. But this has got Hessian spine. I love all this beach house. You must say I'm a dreamer. Lovely little picture. These gorgeous little seahorses. They are well and truly in there. I love this album so much. And then this is one of the. That's the name of the album. And it's called the Sound of Summer. And so is the spread of papers. I absolutely adore these. I mounted it on, this is on a bit of navy card stock, I think. Yeah. And these, these, just, just a six by six, basically. Just a six by six. Absolutely stunning. This is one of the just absolutely beautiful papers. It speaks for itself. So I added the braided linen uh, myself to just a, take away from that sharp edge of the edge of the paper just to give it a rustic look and when I glued it down I used my finger and smeared so that is definitely not coming off because I haven't tucked it over it's literally cut off there and then I've more or less like smooshed it in to keep it level and it's not going anywhere that isn't and the same on this side again just to fetch it all in together I adore it absolutely adore it so this is the spine which is just three inches I didn't think I was going to need it because I cut my cardstock this time uh, I scored the long side the short side at five eighths of an inch I normally do it at three quarters and then one and a quarter 
but I actually did it at five eighths and then I did it at one inch. So what would give me five eighths? It gives me five eighths, obviously, and then one, two, th uh, and then three eighths for the actual instead of a, a full half inch, you know, for the give so it can expand. That's what I meant. Oh, Mr. Boys, a cup of coffee. Oh, he's a darling. So, right, let's get into this. Um, it is absolutely adorable. I love it. And this is up for sale if anyone wants it. It's, it's going for the price of the materials, not for my time for making it. And it works out. I'm going to be writing my name. Here comes the sun. Spin to win tomorrow on ITV. Uh, the linen, the DSP, <clears throat> the black cardstock, and then the miscellaneous bits like other magnets, glue, ribbon, threads, and stuff like that. Um, so that's the £45 for the album, and then for the PMP, wherever you want it shipped. I must warn you though, if you're in the USA, at Parcel Force at the moment are not shipping worldwide, and if the PMPs. Thirty-six pound it is double what it normally costs. So when I say oh it's like twenty pound, meaning say forty dollars, it's double that. So if you're in America, I'm afraid unless you're willing to pay P and P for that price, then okay. <laughs> but this is the first page. I back this on some black cardstock. Time the time to relax is when you don't have it, don't have for it. I don't get that. It's that just means the time to relax is when you don't have for it. Time for it, meaning. But oh my goodness, look at this. I added some of that brown cardstock I normally do. Just think it's up. Look, I we wouldn't want to be sitting there now with a nice, like, cocktail in one hand and sun beating down. I know it's. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Look. Oh my goodness. Look. It's gorgeous. And then we just flip this up. And I've added some simple, the wave of the sea helps me get back to me. So I've just added the sound of the summer again and left this pretty plain so you could get some 4x4s or some 4x4 and a 3 by. Oh, you can get, um, you can get a 6x4 on this one. So this measures 6.5. And, and that gap there is, oh, easy, 5 and a quarter. So yeah, you get a lovely 6x4 for one there. And also it's a pocket, so you could also add more photo mats. I've added some 4x4s. And I've journaled on every single white card. And I just pop that in the centre. And again, just journaled on the corners. Just have a bit of fun. So I've got a plain one. I've got one mounted on black. And I've also got one with just a little thing here on the side. And then if you come back down, again, this isn't just another pocket, but this is a gorgeous, this is one of the A4s. Again, gorgeous photo mat. This is five by seven, I think. Yeah, five and a quarter by seven. So you can get a five by seven photograph on there. And I just love that scenery. Again, who wouldn't want to be sitting there with a picnic basket? glass of wine, some French bread, a bit of cheese. Oh my goodness, take me away. <laughs> and again, if anyone wants this and I've got any spare black card stock, I'll send that along so you can mat and make more mats. But you're not having any leftover paper because I'm gonna use that towards another album. So, but that price I've just shown you is for a, a one third of everything all combined. I spent about 90 pound. Ninety-five pounds, something like that, but it's enough to make three albums. So hence the price is so cheap. So that's the that's the inside cover. Moving along, this is uh, a magnetic closure, and it's got a magnet under the fish, and it's got one under the DSP. But how cute is this little fish? That magnet has given that a little dimension. Let me show you if you can see it. Can you see? He's got a little fat pocket belly. He's a cutie. He's not just lying flat. So this folds up. Give you a photo mat. Absolutely gorgeous. But it also then folds down to give you another three photographs and enough space there for instantly three photographs. Maybe four. 
with this one as well because it just opens out like this absolutely gorgeous and up to the top and this one again two instant photos beautiful massive one there the magnet is under there and then this opens down as well this is the only mat i haven't for some reason i haven't decorated this one but you could add two six by four photos on there straight away because they're six and a uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter so you'd have the black lines you get two beautiful photos on there you'd also get this this is one of the cut parts from the a4 or is it a six by six piece i think it might have been a six by six piece uh yeah five and seven eights this is from and you would have had the tiniest little cards and then you've got the borders but i just thought instead of turning it over just show how beautiful this cold paper pack was absolutely gorgeous so again hence the reason i didn't decorate this one is so you could just literally put a six by four photo on both sides and if you want you could have a six by four photo add some white card stuck and journal on the back i've left journaling space here as well or you could simply add a nice slimmer, uh, maybe a three by six, trim it down, three by six or three by five and a half photo. But yeah, this folds up then, and this is our closure. I love that. I love and I'll tell you what I haven't done, but I will do it before it goes off. If I remember, I've got it, like I said. These have all got side pockets, and I haven't added anything to them yet, so bear with me I might just make up with what papers are left absolutely stunning I make some um, large photo mats how much could I actually get in there so I could make them easy say five and a half by seven and three quarters uh, well say seven and a half give me a little space Say seven and a quarter by five and a half photo mats to go inside and then you can have photos on both sides and then this one i normally do a waterfall but i decided just to do a mismatch all over the pages so two four by four photos here held on with a magnet uh, and again so you got four photos instantly there it's one there one there one there one there one here one here and then maybe a six by four here four by four or just go over the top and do a six by four for some reason they've got the right mucky marks on my fingers because i'm using glue a lot with them and i get a bit glue blind as you call it there we go it's gone so again this is a little tuck spot you could get your photo all the way around the back of there look and this pond folds down so you could get a six by four photo on there this one then lifts up i just go mad and use my journaling pen you know what i'm like and again i frame this piece and they could get a i think this is six by four that's a four and a half four and a half by six so yeah you could get a nice six by four photo on there so again this folds up space for journaling in you know you can get your photo behind there uh this folds over this folds over and this folds over a mismatch page as i call it or a huge waterfall because they're all interlocking and that's how i just make sure they open all over the place i've done that before and i love it love it love it let me move across to this side i adore this look i've left a little um tuck spot area on the front here you could get a, six, uh, a nice uh, five by five bolt one there easy uh, i've left some little tickets in there for you to just show there's the tuck spot again this is held on by magnets and this is a little tuck spot area as well there's the little paddle cute i just glued that right down though this is one of those cut parts and then this opens up for a look gorgeous i think this is five by five i'm not sure yeah five five four and a half it, well it's actually five by five because of the beautiful pattern 
and then my punch broke yeah so it's five by five this punch literally closed on one of my pieces oh, i think it was this one and i managed to get it open and it's now knackered it won't it won't even um it won't even open anymore so again oh that's tucked in the wrong place again two small photos and another five by five down the bottom again and then like i say these you can add a is three and three quarter by I'd say four and a half so you could get a three and three quarter by four uh, photograph on there journal or you could do it on the front maybe add a photo here and use this space to journal on and add another little one on the back and if you've got more cardstock add more tags absolutely lovely and the same on this side you can like I say you can get three and a quarter by three and a three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then journal on this section save on the back absolutely adore this my brain just especially off camera i don't feel pressured into um doing stuff so so we turn over and this is page three i just left this this has got a magnet under it because it was supposed to have opened a different way but um i ended up swapping it back to its original thingy but it just looks gorgeous as if it's just rolled onto the beach along with these beautiful starfish and again space for journaling this is a big page this is five and three quarters by seven and three quarters and you get a, you can get a massive picture on there seven by five and then you open it up i normally use the white but and this was supposed to close this way but uh, I took the magnet out from that side and had it closed that way instead you hear that yeah it closes that side but I didn't have the art to take that picture off now so this opened got space here for journaling or for two small photos I popped in a little 4x4 four four and this is a big one as well this I've left this is seven by four and a quarter. So yeah, I guess six by four on there, maybe June at the top or the bottom. I just love these pictures. Absolutely beautiful. Again, you can fit more in, just uh, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then this closes. Again, I, this space up, up top to put, add more loose photos or photo mats which I should have done really let me check my battery we're doing okay this side again I just thought if you've used a fair few magnets you've got a little bit of this baker's twine left so use that massive 5 by 7 photo on there little journaling spot there get a photo on there maybe two firm I think they're three and a half by three and a half yeah, you can get three and a half and buy three and a half photos in there. I used a different punch. I had to stand up and basically, literally, whole body weight just so I didn't use that punch again. Um, but yeah, you can add. And then this opens up, and I haven't put anything on there. Oh, strange. But again, five and three quarters by four. You just chop down a little photo and then. You've got space here for a massive massive photo that's five and ooh, five and seven eighths by five and one eighth easy and then this little cutie holds that down but then you just fetch this back over and tie this back up these papers absolutely stunning uh ciao bella And I love them. I got these from a place called, um, oh, what was it called? Beeb Bad uh, Bab or Bee Bab Crafts or something like that. But they are in the UK based. So I've done a gatefold. This is a little booklet. You can add your photos in here. You get four in there straight away. I just, one of my little triangles didn't come all the way to the end. So I just put this on the end. And again, it's just a nice little spread. 
add small photos here, here, here. You could add a whole huge one on there if you wanted to, or just add one in the middle. Journal on these spaces. And then this closes, and this little buckler keeps everything closed down. Love it. And again, I've done this one. Didn't use magnets, just got a little swing tab here, which is the, in the shape of a little shell. And then I've wrote in my white gel pen the sound of summer. I just love it. And then again, one of those cut apart, a little fishy on there. And then this opens up, journal on the back of here, and you've got space for four by four photos on here, 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 and here. Then we've got this beautiful space here. You could get a photo on there. You can even tuck behind this, um, not all the way down, but most of the way down. And you've got a lovely tag from the cut aparts. You've got a lovely framed 4x4 four four and the Sound of Summer card. And then another one of these. And I matted these on both sides just to show these gorgeous papers. And then they pop back in there. And then this closes, this closes, this closes, this closes, and this keeps this open, uh, closed. Again, a space inside for more photographs. And I've just done three simple pockets. Learn how to find a little peace of mind. Love that. So in this one, you've got a, a four and a half by four and a half tag. In this one, you've got a six by four tag. And then in this one, you have a seven by five bigger tag, just to add some photos. And like I say, you can add more. It will hold a few more than this. So seven by five, six by four, and four and a half by four and a half. Maybe add something here. If you don't want to go over that, then maybe just churn a little bit. And then onto our back page, I just mounted a couple of these little cards for you to have a play with. Smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. Love it. Again, space for journaling on the back or adding more photos. This is a nice seven by five, I think. Is it not five? No. Seven by four, I think. Seven by four and that oh four and a half by seven. So yeah, you could have six by four and still have a space for journaling. So this is this lovely um sound of summer apple. I absolutely love it one of my favorites I had so much fun making it and oh it's quick I literally started it um when did I finish this yesterday I literally started it the day before yesterday what's the day today we are on we are on it says today <laughs> it doesn't tell me what day it is it's Thursday there we go I just worked it out so I started this Tuesday afternoon about Mr. Boyce went. about half past three I started I'd already made the, the album covers and I'd left it sitting blank and I wasn't sure how I was going to do this because with this linen it was on a thick sheet and it's, it was like Tyvek on there as well so there's no ripping this stuff it is once it's on it's on so I didn't even use black cardstock to cover this, even though it looks like a half. I basically glued my chipboard to the inside of the linen, which is tucked inside. That goes over by um, one inch either end. Hence the reason it's only oh my gosh, I can't speak. That's why it's only eight inches tall. And I, so I glued my chipboard down onto my actual linen and I then added a piece of black cardstock afterwards to, for my, just to cover the inside. And then see how far in it comes. But if you look on the outside, you've got this much space. I didn't want that much linen shed thread showing so look at those perfect perfect 
So yeah, I basically glued my chipboard on there, but before I did, I added my black tape. So it looks like it's been covered in black cardstock, and it's not, it's just black tape around, up to that side, down this front and underneath, and I did the same on this one. Didn't have to cover the inside spine with anything because that got covered with the linen thread. And then I just decorated away. I decided to have a flap on this side, and I decided just to have a nice little pocket on this side. But yeah, I used tape and linen thread to give that illusion of black cardstock. So I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm so proud of this book. I just love it. Thing is, I don't take photographs, but I'd love it to go to somebody who did and who appreciated it. And you know, so if you were interested, uh, you can send me a message on Facebook or you can email me at gainer.voice at sky.com and then we can talk. Literally, I literally don't charge for my time, I, I just don't. I just so enjoy making the albums that pays for the material and then you pay for the PMP to get it to you and uh, jobs are good I hope you enjoyed watching anyway I had so much fun making it I just think it's adorable and I don't really think it needs any charms or anything I just love it the way it is so thank you for watching please don't forget to give a thumbs up and a share if you enjoyed the video and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to press subscribe and the little bell I do post every single day I don't make uh, albums every day I just make them off the blue I'm normally a card maker and um, 3d projects fun fold cards stuff like that but uh, yeah come along see what we do I post every single day so don't forget the bell you will get a notification every single day love to you all thank you for watching any questions put them in the comments down below and I'll see you on the other side bye